Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Kevin. Hey, uh, I'm out of town working for like two weeks straight, so today is Saturday. Saturday, September 26th. And I just got off of work, and I'm working tomorrow, which is Sunday, all the way up in there. So I should be back into Spokane. Actually, I should be back into Washington next Friday. So I'm actually cooking myself something right now. But you know what? Uh, me and my son made a video before I left and it deleted for some reason so I'm just gonna make this here real quick but let me know what you guys think of this uh, beach cruiser bike build and uh, I'll get to it all right for sure my friends peace Today is Monday, the 21st. I'm your homie Kevin. Uh, I want to go on ahead and show you guys the beach cruiser frame. Smells gone. So that's why I finally brought it inside. I'm going ahead. Oops. 703 cruising. Let's put this bad boy to use right here. Remember when I got that uh, awesome box from the homie? Put this bad mofo. Just, I got two of them. The other one's out in the garage. Ah, put this mofo down. Just trying to think of some uh, freestyle ideas I'm going to do on this thing. So this tape's pretty thick. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make just one fat bead all the way down. Just like an outline, like a little like a perimeter. Then I'll go on ahead and roll some of this out. And I'll, sh I'll show you guys as I'm doing it. That way there's no cutting corners or not cutting corners but that way for those of you that are actually building bikes or just to see how i go on ahead and get down with these bikes you guys can see every step that i do so i'm not trying to be stingy scratchy or whatever you want to call it i mean i'll gladly show everybody how i do these bikes and that way for those of you you know what i mean build your own bike and keep the or ride a bicycle tradition going i actually saw that bike And that bike. I actually talked to that kid. That was back in like 98. Alright my friends. Well I'm going to go on ahead and get set up real quick. I'll right, see you guys in a split second. Faux show. Alright homies. Let's get started. See I just cut myself. I just made a point. That's all. Now there's gonna be a lot of pausing in this video because otherwise this is gonna be like a freaking I don't know. I honestly don't know how long it's gonna take me to tape off this crazy mofo. So I'll go on ahead and show you one side how I do it. Then after I do this side here, I'll probably just end up pausing the video. And my friends, by I say my friends a lot, huh? That's all right. And as I was gonna say, I am by no means a professional. I just try to make it look good.
at my friends. Got that the best I could to match the other side. Almost on point, huh? Almost. I'm not going to peel it off and try to move it over. I'm just going to... I don't want to get that adhesive on the tape unstuck. So I actually want it to be permanently there. Besides the seat, we'll kind of cover those where they kind of little offset. It's not bad, huh? Just freestyling this crazy mofo. And now... I'm going to go on ahead and start laying out some tape, get it all ready and prepped out. Get my glass up here. I got my glass right there, but I have tape on it still. I need to rip off. I'll start laying down some strips and getting some little uh, finer thin strips. And we'll start laying out some whatever, I don't know, some crazy, goofy, funky design. All right, my friends, I'll see you on a quick second. Peace. <laughs> what are you eating? Pizza and carrots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to change this bike up a little bit. I said I was going to do the whole um, thin, small lines of uh, tape, but I think I'm going to try something different. What I'm going to do on this thing, I'm focused. There we go. Is keep it as is, but go on ahead and put another strip on this side. And just because I don't want to have too many crazy goofy funky designs i just want to keep a few lines and keep it simple but i'm going to try something else my friends and if it works hey try it on your bike project but like i said i don't own an airbrush gun or any of that crazy sh but this is what i'm going to try out little letters see the letters as you can see, I already, I'm actually, I'm, do you see the letters? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is do you see through it only because I've already used some. I'm going to try this out, see if it works. It says straight clowning. I was going to write something different on it, but I ran out of letters. So it says straight clowning there. Give me a second. I had to flip the bike over. I got lowrider style right there, but I'll go on ahead and put a little piece of tape in here, like, like a little design or something, kind of get it going in there. I'll see if that works, see if this holds up to the paint, because I'm going to go on ahead and lay and shoot another layer of uh, paint, like two more coats to cover all this silver, and then I'm going to go on ahead and blast another three more coats of uh, the gold, and then I'm going to fucking, excuse me, and then I'm going to go on ahead and uh, peel these uh, letters off. Let's see if they... See if they can hold up. If not, I'll just paint over them. <laughs> Actually, that's what I should do. Just paint right over them. That way, they'll just be 3D effect through the paint. Uh, they, they might peel over time. But all right, well, that's where I'm at so far. That's all I've done is just add the letters in. Let me go on ahead and line out some more tape and get some more little goofy, crazy, goofy designs in this mofo. And I'll get back to you guys. Bo show, my friends. Peace. Peace.
All right, my friends, y'all ready to go outside and lay down a color? Also, the same same side. The other side, I try to get identical to this side. No, I lied. <laughs> it's completely different. You think I should lay something in here too? Just kind of fill that in or just leave it as is? I'll leave it as is, Dan. You have spoken. All right, well, let's go on ahead and uh, douse this with some uh, paint. Let's go outside in the garage. All right, my friends. Got it outside. <laughs> there he is. Got it hanging up in the paint booth. Hey, Man, look at that. That is freaking awesome. Just hopefully these here stick. I tried compressing them down and getting them good to go. I was going to put something right here. But I was like, no, I got way too many lines and everything. So you know what? I'm just going to leave it as is. Cool. All right, well, let's douse this sucker. Okay, bye-bye. I can't do it. Man, just so I was ready to get started painting. I completely forgot. I need to blast this sucker down, too. Sand it down and primer. And get that all ready. Because remember, this was the original color. So I will leave this there for now. All right, my friends. Well, I already went through all the tape again by hand. Use my sleeve. Try not to get any oil on this thing. So we'll see what this mofo turns out to be. Hopefully it turns out to be awesome. And let's go on ahead and see if this here works. And as always, my friends... Rust-Oleum. That's the paint products that I use on every single bike product that I got. This was the closest gold that I could find. So it's going to be some Rust-Oleum metallic. I'll hit this sucker, my bike, twice with this. And then I'll burn up at least a can, a can and a half of this on the frame as well. Because I want to save half this can for that uh, chain guard there. Had some free time. Finally cleaned up in this garage. So now I got all the room. Got my awesome colorful fan flaked out well let's get down What up, everybody? Man, for you guys already kicking back, just chill and watch me on the big screen, your phone or your laptop. It's only been like a split second, but man, it's probably been like three hours now. So what I went on ahead and did is uh, I sprayed this sucker down again. After I ended up pausing the last um, clip that I made, I kind of went on ahead and turned the light on bright. Got all those spots that I missed. Came back like an hour later. I said 20 minutes, but an hour later I've been chilling with Cade. Went on ahead and doused it again. Got it pretty good. Got all the small spots that I ended up missing. So there's no silver showing and you guys see all these here remember what i explained in the last video is whenever i went and sprayed this down when i had that funky two uh, red and yellow coat in here i sprayed it down i had my fan sit and see it did it again it fell backwards i had it facing this way but then it fell backwards and fell back that way and then the fan pushed all the wet paint so that's how it got it all dried and cracked but you know what? i went on ahead and left it as is it kind of gives it a little awesome gangster texture to it so I'm going to leave that as is. So what I'm going to do right now, my friends, check it out, by the way. So far, so good. The sticker's stuck. Can't even see them, huh? I could see them. Don't know about you guys. But, as always, it's Kate. As always, my friend, Russ Stolium. So what I went on ahead and did is I knocked some of this out. I got about, I don't know, feels like at least quarter of the can left but during that couple hours I went on ahead and buzzed that sticker off 
scratch and rough this up pretty good. Drown this sucker. I just need to go on ahead and clean it, and I'm gonna lay down some uh, primer and then spray that next. But I'm moving on to the next stage, my friends. This right here. Now let me go on ahead and get suited and booted. Get you guys here in a quick second. Yo, what up, everybody? This frame's literally been sitting here for hours upon hours, and it's still Monday. I still haven't painted this yet. Blasted this with another coat. Straight. This. This, everybody. Focus. See the outcome of this guy here. You know what? Hold on, everybody. Let me get it started. Let's do this. You guys saw this. Remember where you saw this at? The Kevin and Kate Lowrider Addiction. So from the looks of it, it looks as if it worked. Come on, baby. There we go. Ooh. All right, you guys. I'll see you here in a split second. Alright, ready to see this? Oh yeah. Beautiful. I need to do something to highlight these. Lowrider style. Gosh, it looks a lot different in person compared to seeing it through my camera. Straight clowning. Oh yeah. And I'm ready to spray this here. Let me load up real quick. Just chasing it, it just keeps spinning. Stop. Nice. Let that sit. Cap this. Next one. Glass clear. Rust oleum, as always, my friends. Ooh, that sounds empty. Ready? Moment of truth. Oh jeez, look at that. Come on, give me enough just to coat this. Kazam! That's what I'm talking about, my friend.
We got the springs over there. How's that? After these couple coats are clear, I'll end up getting like a marker or something. Highlight the lowrider style. I never sprayed that top. There we go. Oh wow. Straight clowning. We'll highlight all that. No silver in there. I just want that just all gold. Leave this right here. A little better than the red and yellow, huh? 